What's up, it's Susie from Hey Grill Hey. Have you ever heard of zero to 400 chicken? I have never made it before, but we're gonna be trying this out today. I'm gonna show you all the steps to get this beautiful, juicy, golden skinned chicken on your pellet smoker. Super easy. Let's do it. So what is zero to 400 chicken? It is a super easy weeknight method of cooking chicken that gives you really crispy skin and really juicy meat. It involves starting your chicken on your smoker at zero degrees, then turning on your pellet grill to 400 and letting your chicken come up in temperature with your smoker. People say it gives you a lot of extra smoke because it's in there during those early temperature phases when it's still pushing out a lot of smoke and crispy skin. It sounds too good to be true, but we're gonna try it out, and today we're doing it with chicken thighs. They're my favorite cut, they're always juicy, and I love the crispy skin. But apparently you can do it with wings or with legs. So, let's make some zero to 400 chicken. Now I bought these bulk chicken thighs because I think they were like $1.19 a pound, something super affordable. Gave them a quick trim with my kitchen shears just to take off any of those loose bits, crispy edges that we don't wanna cook up, any extra skin, got them pretty uniform. Now, I first heard about this cooking style from Brandon, who also hosts this YouTube channel with me, and he said it's everywhere on the Rectech forums. Since we own a Rectech, it just makes sense. We gotta try the zero to 400 chicken, and he gave me a couple of tips and tricks. The first one is use avocado oil as your binding oil, it helps really give you that nice, crunchy, crispy, golden-y skin. He also said to use a seasoning with no sugar because it's cooking at this higher temperature. Anything with sugar is going to burn, so we're gonna be using my beef rub. Brandon says this is the absolute best. I totally agree, we use it on chicken all the time. But no sugar, nice salt and pepper base, should add some amazing flavor to this chicken. Once they're seasoned, we're gonna give them another quick hit with our spray oil, and that's it. I'm already loving how easy this was on prep. They're ready to go out to the smoker. Now, we're starting these cold, so it is gonna pick up some of the smoke flavor. I really think you could use any wood you like on chicken because it's a mild flavored meat. It takes on that smoke flavor really well. I think we have a competition blend in our Rectech right now. It gives us a little bit of oak, some cherry, all that good stuff, and I think it will be perfect for these chicken thighs. I don't know exactly how long they're going to cook, but if I had to guess, I would say anywhere between 45 and 60 minutes. So let's get them on and keep an eye on our time. Chicken just went on and I'm legitimately so excited to see how this turns out. We have long been told in the pellet grill world not to get any meat on until your smoker is up to temperature. You wanna miss the dirty smoke of the initial firing. But the people in the rec tech forums are saying that's the magic of this zero to 400 chicken. Give it that heavy burst of dark smoke right in the beginning of the cooking process. I love an experiment. <laughs> Thanks for coming on this one with me. We're rolling? Mm -hmm. Zero to 400 chicken is off the smoker and it smells really, really, really good. We're getting all of that like crispy grilled chicken but also smoky, yummy chicken. Now I sauced half of them at 165 because I wanted to see how the skin held up with sauce on top versus naked. So we're gonna try a little bit of each and that cook was so easy. The hardest part was using these stupid tongs Todd gave me to try and get them off the grill. I did not. You gave me these tongs. For Christmas. And they are terrible. Don't use these to take chicken off the grill. <laughs> okay, let's try some. Lots of 
Mm. Now I will say the skin is not crispy like, I don't know, like char grilled skin or like deep fried chicken skin, but it's really nice and bite through tender and it has a great texture on the top from like the seasonings and the fat. So there's like a crispiness, but it's not like chip crunchy. But with the bite through texture, I'm super here for it. But this chicken itself is ridiculously juicy. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> I like that a lot. Next up, let's try some saucy chicken. Mm. See? That kind of rubberizes the skin. I took a little bit of the bite throughness away. I will be doing this again, but I'm gonna stick with naked chicken, go sauce on the side. That way you can dunk or drizzle, but you don't have to worry about ruining your skin. Still delicious. Yeah, bummer. Worthy experiment. Oh my gosh, two seconds. I'm gonna call zero to 400 chicken a total success. I can absolutely see myself doing this with legs and wings specifically. I think they'll cook a little bit faster. Maybe even give me some crispier skin because that skin's a little bit thinner. Uh, I definitely think this is one you should give a try at home. If you've got a pellet smoker and you want a quick and easy way to do weeknight chicken, my kids are all gonna love these and I think it's a super awesome family pleaser. So thanks Brandon for the hot tip on zero to 400 chicken. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel so you can see Brandon's product reviews, catch more awesome recipes from us here at Hey Grill Hey, and we'll see you guys next time.